What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlayBookGamer.com and in the last Dynasty video we took on San Jose State and we got the victory. We're 2-2. Two and two. We used our parachute offense for the first time and it went pretty well. We're going to keep on doing that for the rest of the season until, you know, you got to adjust for next year because who knows where my talent's going to be at. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be, the, we're going to stick with the same offense because John St. Louis is a junior. I'm assuming he's coming back. So that gives us one tight end to work with, at least. But it was a lot of fun, so we're going to continue that today against Ball State. They're 0-3. To me, this is a must-win. We just don't have many chances to get victories this year. And I feel like this is one of them. You can look at their stats. Nothing to get excited about. Yet they still have more talent than us, obviously. We're not doing the in-season recruiting this season. We've got to wait till we are a two-star program. Sports Illustrated, there's not a, going to be a whole lot to look here. Top 25 polls doesn't make much of a difference for us. Heisman Watch won't either. We can always check see who is up there. That's cool to see Robert Meacham on the list. He was a really good wide receiver for us at Tennessee. Cody Hodges, AP, CJ Lee, or Chris Leak. Let's see, uh, Players of the Week, it doesn't matter to me. Conference standings, doesn't matter to us. We're not even in a conference. Let me think here. We can go to our rosters. You know, we turned off home field advantage because I wanted the test to see if players will still go up in the ratings, and they have been. From what I can tell, I'm quite positive these uh, boosts happened after I made the change and not before. And you're going to see the, the plus three, plus four, plus five, the much higher boost with players that are really bad as opposed to the ones that are really good. Because you go up to the very top, look at our top six players, none of them have went up yet, which is, that's just how they work in this game. I do want to show you our playbook. I made one small tweak to it. I added gun-wide trips. I replaced, I think, gun spread. Gun normal, it did have two of my main third and long plays, but one of them I really liked, the other one not so much. So I have a left hand, a left hash third and long play from gun normal and a right hash one from gun wide trip. So 95% of the offense comes from these four formations, but then I got my third and long sets and my goal line at the very bottom. I'll never use these two. I, I can't imagine if I did. If I did, that would be because my tight ends are getting injured and I was forced to go more spread. Hopefully that doesn't happen. I fixed my audibles as well. Pretty much the first four are like my best cover zero beater plays. These are actually my base plays out of the offense more or less. But it's whenever I see cover zero pre-snap, I can audible to one of these if needed. And then I got a uh, PE read on the fifth one. I don't know if I'll ever use it. Otherwise, at least I have them set. The same with the defense. I got these set as well. I got my first two are out of the four three quarters and a zone blitz. And then my last three are from nickel, which is our base set, more or less, with quarters, a zone blitz, and cover three cloud. Just wanted to make sure you saw those. We do have to change a couple formation subs once we get into the game. You can't do that here because, uh, let me go to it. Let's see if it pops up. I know i got to go to rosters to do that. If you go to formation subs, let's see if it'll get to it. You notice ace bunch, I normal, I slot. This is the Tennessee, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the Tennessee playbook. Which is what we have set up for simulation purposes. Of course, we're not simming anything, but that's why you can't do formation subs right here. You got to wait till you get into the game first. Then you can set up your subs because that's when you're actually using the playbook of your choice. I think that's it. Let's go take on Ball State. Now, we have Louisville after this one, and Louisville is having a bad season last time I checked their record. That's still going to be very hard for us to beat them, so it wouldn't hurt if somebody got in trouble that week. We could suspend them for a little bit. Looks like their quarterback is out for at least a quarter, if not a half. So we got to take advantage of that. they got a guard out, a fullback out. Apparently some decent players for them. We have nobody out. Uh, 
All right, so we got a pretty day for some football. They won the toss, and they will take the ball first, which is fine. Let's go to our formation subs before I forget. I want to change out Galashaw here. We just didn't have to use him last game, so I am going to put my top two wide receivers as is, just on all four base formations. I just don't feel like I need Galashaw on offense in this. I mean, if you remember the last game, we put up over, you know, quite a bit of yardage, and he never touched the ball except maybe once. So we're going to see how that goes. I'm going to leave the tight ends as they are. I was thinking about switching them for, like, one formation, but I'm just going to wait on that. I want to look over a course of a few games how many guys are getting to touch the ball a little bit, and I was happy with John St. Louis and Biggers. I liked how they got the ball quite a bit. So I'm going to leave it as is for now. Let's go to depth chart, look at Ball State's roster. Impact quarterback, but he is out for the half. So we need to do whatever it takes to get a big lead in the first half. Play as good as we possibly can until he gets back. But he can't run. His backup can't run. So we're going to do some heavy blitzing today. And I have the scattering report in front of me. They're a balanced offense, but the run-pass ratio is pretty different. It's a 59 to 41. So initially, they would like to run the ball a lot, but they're impact players. They don't have any at halfback. They got just a couple decent guys. I wouldn't mind having both of them. Their top fullback is out, but they have an impact wide receiver. So that tells me they're going to throw probably a little bit more than they are going to run. Nothing special at tight end. Just looking at their offensive line. Of course, they are all better than us. They got a really small right tackle. They run a 4-3. Oh, before we get to the defense, I'm looking at their playbook. It's nothing but ace, gun, and strong sets. Just kind of gives me a rough idea. It doesn't tell me a whole lot, but at least you kind of halfway know what to expect when they break the huddle. Nothing special on the ends. Defensive tackles, nothing great. Just everybody in the 70s, a couple in the 80s. Looks like they got a decent middle linebacker. We would love to have him. We would do great with this kid. 68 overall, but he's got 85 speed. I mean, I would love to have that guy. <clears throat> Outside linebacker, 70, nothing great. Corners, they're just there. 80 at free safety, 84 strong sets. So their secondary, especially both of their safeties, is their strength on their defense. Average kicker, average punter. I think we're good to go. All right, we're kicking off first. We want to kick it high. To avoid easy returns, we're going to have to do this. And I completely botched this one big time. <laughs> That's terrible. Great field position. I hit the button way too late. Looks like we're going with a big set here. Bigger. Pick up first down or close to it with their impact guy. Let's go. They got a hang of tight end so we can take a chance on a zone blitz. Now let's go right here instead. Oh, wow. Look at that. Another easy first down. I'm going to try another zone blitz. Oh, let's do it out of Nick. Nah, let's do it at a 4-3. Until they go three wide, we can stick with a 4-3. We're back to strong twins. And that was just too easy. I mean, like, how did three guys... Okay, yeah, they're halfback. It's just perfect blocking. I don't... There's nothing you can do about that. Well, am I wasting my time on the zone blitz because they keep running the ball? Maybe they're going to stick with their run-pass ratio. Back to strong twins they go. Perfect blocking. Oh, at least he dropped it. Let's 
I am going to do another zone blitz. We got to do something. We just can't let him sit back there and take shots on us. Don't run up the middle. Dang it. Fumble. Oh, you got to get it. Big play. We'll take it. Every turnover we can get, you got to take it. I'm sure we'll have a couple today. Our halfbacks aren't the most stable. Who made the fumble? I give us his number. Oh, it was Galishaw. Well, no wonder. All right, let's start off with a base play. We're going man. Now, what's interesting is that safety may be on John St. Louis. We're just doing that. Ah, just a bad throw. Let me see here. Uh, let's do a toss play, I guess. I want to get away from our offensive line as best we can. I just don't think they can handle dive, slam. I want to do some draw. I just don't know if they can handle it. Let's see if we can get a first down here at least. Great play by Odoms. Great, great play. Had a little bit of juice to him. He felt like he had some speed to work with. A little juke. He got us an extra 20 yards. We are on the left hash. Let's go. Let's do another base pass. Let's go drag special. I don't think I called this play in the previous game. We're going zone. This will go to our impact tight end. Oh, I forgot. There's a formation sub I wanted to do. Let's go. Oh, yes, I have a duck. That's right. I wanted, I wanted Biggers in the slot right there. <coughs> I completely forgot about that. Interception. I was just, I'm fixing to get sacked. I had to get it off. Let's stay here and try PA Reed. We're going zone. If they go cover three or four, I can maybe get this to Whitaker. If not, I'll have to bounce this to Lane. Yeah, just, oh, just even worse play. So now it's third and long. We're on the 38, so I technically don't. This is two-down territory for us. We'll, we'll still go with, let me look at my formation subs. I didn't think about this. I don't mind doing the formation subs here either. I got... I want Whitaker... I want Biggers there. We could put... Um, I'd rather have... Yeah, let's just stick with that. That's fine. So let's go back to... If I can get to it. Let's go half back corner. We're going man, so maybe Whitaker can make this catch. He's coming down. We can go over the top just in case with Biggers. And it looks like we're going to. Nope, that's intercepted. Just a bad throw. We could do it again. I still trust this play more than any other for third down. All right, we're going zone. People are booing because I'm not kicking a field goal. <laughs> I guess they don't know what type of field goal kicker I have. I just can't. Yeah. I can't go to... They played a perfect defense. I, I mean, I, yeah, I could have went to him. I just... That would have been tied. So we'll get back on defense. Cover three is a, is a better way to stop that slot post. And uh, he was out of bounds. Oh, wow. He caught that somehow. He got... That's weird. I thought he went out of bounds. Please don't go up the middle. Good defense by number one. And it's third and long. We got to get a stop here. I want to get the ball back and try to redeem ourselves for the last play. Or last possession. Oh, 
Oh, great open field tackle. I thought he was going to break the tackle there. All right, good deal. Low scoring game, defensive oriented. Let's see if we can get back on offense and try to get things going. We may have it. No, we're not going to. I was hoping we get a block on that guy. It's not going to happen. Let's do one of our base plays again. We're going man this time. I'm going to separate our two cover zero beaters. Cover one. And no time whatsoever. They blitz on bad side. Yeah. Just great defense. Nothing you can do about it. So we got to get out of the hole. Second and 21. Let's do... I got a couple two-minute drill plays that may be useful for us. Let's try that. I want to get the ball out really quick. We're going man here. He's coming down to defend him. Let's do that just in case. So this is going to go to somebody on the left. Oh, big play. First down. He went cover zero. and You can't blame him for doing that. But I went to Whitaker instead because John St. Louis was covered by the impact safety. Let's try. Uh, let's let's try a draw. I like using draws a little bit more. Draws technically work better with this offense just by look alone. Because you pass, you know, you do a lot of drop back stuff. The draw just kind of complements it. So that looked pretty good. Let's go back to another base or going man. I'm not really worried about the clock yet. Let's let's just run our offense like normal. And get the first down at least. Let's go back to a toss for going man. Now I could audible back to that play. If I don't want to, we can run it. Great run here. Looks like Odoms is really feeling it. Toss play's working great. We're on the left hash now. Let's go. Let's see. Uh, let's go here and... I have it on my mind. Let's go safety attack. We're going zone. I'll probably keep this simple and give this to the loom. Eh, just not a very good throw. He had to come back for it. Barely get a yard out of it. Uh, let's go. Do PA rollout. They're going man. Now, I'm going to try my best. To, ah, there's, I don't like that. Well, the shift maybe can help us for not getting sacked. But we're going to try this right here. Nope. I have to go to our other tight end. You can go back and look at this. Great coverage. I was going to go to Whitaker, but they just had great coverage on it. Just the right guy was defending him. And I was fixing to get sacked. So I had to do something there. So now it's back to third and long. It's two down territory for us. So I actually want to go back to this. We don't have to get the first down yet. And I don't trust Eldridge on the swap post. Pick up the first down. Just enough. So where are we? Are we on the seven? We're on the seven. Uh, let's do a draw from eight. Normal. They're spreading out. Uh, let's go over this way and see what happens. That's just great defense. Nothing was open. Let's go with... Uh, let's go... 
Let's do double tight end outs. They're going man. Just a terrible throw by CT. Nothing you can do about it. So we are at third and goal. Uh, let's go back to our base here. This is like, I only got two good right hash plays that are base plays for us. But they work really well. So you're going to see these a lot over the course of the next few years. And a terrible throw. He went out of bounds. Dang it. Oh, he got the game. Let's just kick a field goal. I just don't think we can get the first down. Or the touchdown. Let's just get the points. Points seem to be a struggle today for both teams. Hopefully I can make this. All right. At least we got some points. That was a very long drive. Took up well over a half of a quarter. It's better than nothing. And he didn't fair catch it. Thankfully, he didn't get anywhere with it. Uh, we'll try zone blitz. It says they're going three wide. Please go play action. There we go. You just take a, a shot, a chance, on those zone blitzes. From here, let's just do quarter. Try to keep everything in front of us and force a third and long. Got a lot of action happening my way. Ah, oh my gosh. What do you do about that? All three of them are right beside each other. 30 inches. Let's go with a cover one. I can't do a 4-4. Four four. I don't have the linebackers for it. Oh, wow. We'll take it. Take that in spades. We are going to... We're going to do middle fan. We're not going to do the safety play. Last time we called that, it gave, cost us a touchdown. This one should be a little bit safer, I would think. If he would just fair catch it, that's what I wanted to do. So we are... Yeah, let's do a... Hey, let's flip it. Let's do a toss with Lane. We're going man. I like what I'm seeing so far. We're going to go to our right. Because everybody and their brother shifted to the left. And just good defense. Barely get three yards out of it. We can stay here and try another base later. Going man again. I'm going to bring him over. Last time we got sacked on this one. And it's intercepted. That's just terrible play. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Third and long. Nobody was really open. I, I need to go back and look at that. Let's look at this. I wanted to go to my tight end, but look what they've done. They've done a spy look on all three linebackers. So I couldn't give it to him. They went cover one. I mean, I guess I could have went to the loom. I just didn't, I mean, normally that safety is quick enough to come over there and make a play on that one. See, look at him go over there. So I could have went to this guy. I should have just paid attention to that safety. Could have went to Whitaker. That's how you learn things. All right, back to third and long we go. And a drop. And we're going to punt. Just, it is what it is. He got hit when he caught it or tried to catch it, so. Nothing you can do about it. So now they're going to get amazing field position. And for whatever reason, he decided to not fair catch that. I was hoping for a fumble. And 
and they're doing that, I probably should have went to a cover one. It's a good tackle there. Going three wide. I'm going to take a chance. We're going to do another zone blitz. First down. Or third and inches, probably. Nope, first and ten. I'm going to have to go up the middle. I just don't... Our linebackers just aren't fast enough to get over there. Gain of three, four yards. We'll try another zone blitz. I'm going to go right here. Maybe we can double team one of the linemen. Get somebody open. Was able to come over for the tackle. So now it's third and six. We'll go cloud. All day. All day to throw. And nothing we can do about it. Just, I mean, I could blitz, but he'll probably find somebody else more wide open. Just, it is what it is. I wouldn't even be able to make a swim move, anything on that guy. Play action. Touchdown. Wow, look at that. So now all we can hope for, we got two minutes left. We can try to get the ball, go down the field, use up all two minutes, to get a touchdown before half. Right now our offense just isn't clicking whatsoever. Passing game isn't going well. Running game's going fairly well, so I may have to rely on that a little bit more. Maybe Gala Shaw can put a spark in this thing. Nope, not even close. <laughs> not a chance. Let's go. Let's go back to a P read. Or going man, maybe he can get open here. And I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Just a bad play. Now we're forced to... I feel like I'm forced to throw it again. Let's go drag special. We're going man. Maybe we could do something here. This is either go to Whitaker or to Lane. Let's see if we can get the first down. Now, we got two minutes to go. We got plenty of time. Let's do a toss. Let's get Odom's going again or going man. I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to go back over to the left. Great play there. The, op the toss play is working great. He's already got 100 yards off of four runs. It's pretty much we're doing nothing but toss with him. And it's going great. So we got to keep going back to that in time. Let's go. Let's do tight end drag. they are going man. Probably go to Whitaker here. Unless they go cover zero. Just a bad throw. Let's go back to that toss with Odoms. They're going zone this time. Let's go this direction. Just get out of bounds. Third and seven. Uh, I'm going to go back. This is two down territory for us. 
Let's go back to that drag special. We're going zone. No, they're going man. Okay. Let's go, Whitaker. Make a play. Ah, yes. Good deal. It threw me off. I thought they was going zone because they got that nickel over there. But I, I, maybe I just weren't paying enough attention. Either way, cover zero going over the top. I'm starting to think I need to switch. I want to switch John St. Louis and Whitaker because Whitaker seems like he's touching the ball a whole lot compared to JSL. So I may switch a formation sub up for that. Either way, it's good to see Whitaker get a touch and a touchdown. That gives him plenty of time to do something, though. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and just do that. Let's go to formation subs and... Do that. Let's put John St. Louis right there and just see what happens. Because I want... I mean, John St. Louis needs to touch the ball a whole lot more than Whitaker. No offense to Whitaker. Six plays, 82 yards, 27 seconds. Because Whitaker, you go back and look at the stats, he's had the biggest play so far because... And maybe what I need to do... I didn't think about that. Let's do... I got an idea. Let's go... Let's go back to that formation sub. Let's take advantage of this. We know that strong safety is going to be on John St. Louis most of the day against cover... Or against man in general. So I, what I think we need to do is... Let's go back and switch this back to where it was. And then let's go to our depth chart and let's just switch the two. So whenever we go up against an impact strong safety, I suggest you just switch these two. That way John St. Louis is on the bad safety. Now both safeties are pretty good, but at least the other guy is not an impact player. So let's just do that. So now if you go to your formation subs, now they're switched. Uh, I want to reset this one. I don't... Let's reset the current one. There we go. That's what I want to see. Yes. Okay. I think that's a good strategy. So whenever we, wherever the impact safety is at, just switch your tight ends if needed. Now we should see John St. Lee get the ball a whole lot more. Fair catch made on the kickoff. We're going to do a zone blitz. I'm going to go right here. And good protection. Great defense, though. Got a hand on it. I'm going to do another zone blitz. I want him to throw quick. They're doing that. Good open field tackle by both of those guys. A little gang tackle. I'm looking at the clock here. I'm curious to see if they're going to take their time. I'm going to let them do so. I'm in no hurry to try to get the ball back and score. But we'll just see what happens here. Oh, he's got all... Oh, this ain't good, Galashaw. Oh, good defense. Wow, look at this. Who said the the go route was just a gimme? The deep ball was a gimme. Look at this play by the impact player. Wow, great defense. Okay, that stopped the clock, too. We didn't have to waste a timeout. Now we're going to have to get in our two-minute drill. Because when you're dealing with motion and running clock, they just don't go well together. When you're trying to hurry up and, you know, call plays and such. Because it just takes a while for your motion stuff to get going. That's great defense. So let's go. The clock has stopped, so we can go ahead and do... Let's do that PA read again. They're going man. Let's see if John St. Louis can get open here. Depending on the coverage. Nope, he's not open. Oh no, what are you doing? No, whoa. I was trying to throw the ball away and I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Don't ever do that. Make sure you press the right button. Oh, jeez. Oh, what a mess. All right, we're going zone. Let's go to our two-minute drill. This may be dumb. We may need to... Try to run clock here and just go to half, but stay in bounds. Are they going to call a timeout? They're calling a timeout. 
Now let's just go ahead and try to make something of this. Hopefully CT can make this throw. We'll hop route him to a go, get him open more. We're going cover three. I'm going to go to... Yeah! Oh, I love seeing that in action. Great play. Let's break this down. Okay. When you see cover three when you're calling this play, your tight end cross can get wide open if you're patient enough. Now I'm backing up 18 yards. I shouldn't be doing that. But I noticed he was going to get somewhat open. Look at this. Wide open. Awesome play. Now, I didn't get out of bounds, did I? And I didn't. And I didn't. Let's, uh... Let's go back to the double tight end out. Somebody have to call a timeout after this one. I probably should have called a timeout here. But the play is already called. And this ain't good. And call a timeout big time. Terrible play. Terrible, terrible play. Let's go. Let's go PA rollout. They're going zone. I was kind of hoping for this. Maybe we can get over the middle. Or if they go cover three or four, we can go to John St. Louis. Oh, big play, big play, big play. Call another timeout. Let's look at this play. They went cover four. No, they went cover three. I think they went cover three cloud. But as soon as I snapped the ball, I noticed how wide open John St. Louis is going to be because that guy blitzed. When that guy blitzes, look how wide open he is over there. Boom. Big play, spin move. Now we stayed in bounds, so we're going to have to get... I called the timeouts. We got one left, so we need to be careful here. Let's go slant outs. I'm trying to... I got a couple two-minute drill plays just so it can get me out of bounds quicker, hopefully. But the clock has stopped, so I didn't really have to call this one. I just... Bath, I threw it too late. Well, he caught that somehow. Interesting. Somehow he caught it. Okay. Let's go back to the other two-minute drill. Play. They're going zone. They're going zone. Let's, uh... Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay, uh, we're going to have to... In order to have a chance, let's just go here. I'm going to call a timeout. Let's call a timeout for one second. We can't kick a field goal. Our kicker is just not good enough. So what we're going to do, we're going to go here. And we're going to do some hot routing to make this work. Let me pick a play. Then. Let's do double tight end outs. All right. I either go with man. That's okay. We're going to go make sure everybody gets out of the way. We're going to go to somebody on the far left. And just don't. Uh, this ain't good. This ain't good. This ain't. No. Oh, this ain't good. Dang it. That just wasn't. Dang, ah, son of a gun. God dang it. I just... Oh, jeez. That's the last thing we needed. I was just not expecting that. I was just hoping for a Hail Mary play. And they returned it back for a 100-yard touchdown. Jeez. Well, I'll definitely take the blame on this loss if we do lose. Because of stupid plays like that. I just... That was a terrible throw. He short-armed it. Oh, that's like, hmm. Thank the Lord we're not playing 07 through 11. Otherwise, the momentum meter would be so far against us that we probably won't be able to come back. Jeez, that's, man, that's terrible play. Just don't fumble it. All right, let's do a toss play. Dang it, we had the lead. Look, I mean, we're playing a whole lot better than they are, yet they got the lead. That kills me. Let's go this way. Toss play is working. I'm going to go back to it. As long as we get decent blocking. It helps that they're going man when we call it, too. We're going zone here. Uh, let's go this way. No, I want to do the other way. I want to read that corner. Now, I'm a little worried about that safety. Let's see what happens with that corner. Eh, perfect defense. 
perfect, perfect defense. Sometimes he'll blitz, sometimes he won't. Or, you know, you just take a chance there. So now we're in passing mode. We're going zone here. I'm not worried about the clock. I don't care about trying to control it yet. Just, just getting a whole lot out of that. Now we got to go third and long again. I spent... I'm, I'm really liking the offense, but it's got a couple problems that I don't know how to fix it yet. Maybe it's because we just don't have the talent to make it work. And a drop and an interception. And I don't know what to do about that. Perfect throw, too. My best wide receiver is just playing terrible ball today. And now the game's getting away from us. And perfect, perfect, look at this, touchdown. Thank the Lord he overthrew it. Do another zone blitz. And, oh, come on. Oh, you got to be kidding. I told you, that just... Maybe the momentum meter is an 06. <laughs> as soon as bad things happen, bad more, more bad things happen. They just stack on top of each other. Just the third quarter, it just last two or three minutes have been an utter disaster. Nothing's going right. Well, so much for this game. Well, I mean, we got to just try to get lucky here, but now just... I just feel like things are stacking on you. So we're going to have to try to run clock because I don't trust our defense anymore. And this is a terrible play. i got to go out this way. Let's go back to the base. I'd rather be on the left hash than the right, but that's okay. with another blitz. Draw. Come on, Biggers! It's not hard. You're the best player on the field. Now let's do a toss. But now they're going zone against it. I swear. I don't, what do you do about it? This is not a good game for my best player to be just playing terrible football. And I, I, I'm speechless. Now everything has just gone the pot. Watch this right here. I guarantee I'm going to throw an interception on this one. I guarantee you. Something bad will happen because every play has just gone south the last two or three minutes. Told you. I was, and I should have been picked. So the game is lost. So we'll just try to get through this and move on to the next game because... If this is the case, on well, I, I'm overreacting because I'm we're playing bad football. But I feel like I'm playing with a with a momentum meter. Ever since that hail mary debacle, they've had one perfect play after another, and we've just had the worst plays. If that's the case, I need to be playing 09 or 07 more because it just oh, I hate seeing this. And a, nobody's tackling. Easy first down. What a disaster. That, I mean, we were playing so great up until that Hail Mary. Then it just all went to pot. I'm still waiting for one positive play to happen. Just, just any play. Doesn't have to be anything great. See, we can't even catch the interception. And I saw it coming. So if they score here, now we can't run clock because we're so far behind. Play action. 
There we go. Finally an interception. Finally. Ah, oh, jeez. A positive play. Can we take advantage of it? I don't have any faith in it, but we'll see. All right, we're going zone. Come on, beggars. I need you to step up and make a play here. Pick up about seven there. I'm going to continue to do toss. We're going zone. Let's run clock. Let's just run clock. No point in trying to rush this thing. If it was the fourth quarter, it'd be different. Pick up a first down. I want to go get out of the off the right hash. That's one of the. I need to figure out a way to fix that. Uh, I feel like we're on the right hash all the time in this offense. I, I, I like an offense that goes back and forth. It just opens up your playbook. I, yes, I could flip plays. But. I mean, I, I, I guess I can go to flipping plays, but. The problem is this offense is, it kind of keeps you on one hash a lot of the times. So, all right, John St. Louis, make a play. Terrible throw, short-armed it. Uh, let's go. I'm going to, let's go double tight end out. They're going man. He's coming down again. We can go biggers over the top this time. Cover zero. That looks a little bit better. Thank the Lord Biggers made a play. Let's do... Let's do draw. With Odoms, they're going zone. Nothing looks great here. Let's get... Let's go to the left. We're going to run some clock. That side looked a little bit more wide open, but just a terrible play right there. Got two yards of it somehow. So is Lane... Lane needs to be... I thought I had them switched. I want Lane here. There we go. Oh, I reset it. That's why. That's why. Okay. I reset the uh, formations up on that one earlier. Let's do P.E. Reed. We're going zone. Decent little game there. I want to go second three. Uh, let's stay here. Do drag special. We're going zone. This is going to go to Whitaker. Not confident in this play. It's it's a good play. It's amazing against man. And that's intercepted. And that's a six points. And game over. That was just my fault. Just he was so slow getting over there. That's just perfect. I just what I've never seen somebody come up like that and just pick it off. So that's just my fault. Well, so much for that it's big momentum right there. Oh, well. Off to Louisville. And he still catches that. How in the world? First down. Just a bad day. Just terrible, terrible mistakes that stacked on top of each other. That's all it is. And a draw. Perfect play call. 
And we get a player hurt, of course. I told you, everything just stacks against you. And everything comes in eights. <laughs> well, that was the worst quarter ever. I mean, just absolutely nothing went right. If they ended up blowing us out big time, I need to start rethinking about 07 and 09 because <laughs> I, I know I'm just being over dramatic, but I feel like you got a momentum meter in here somewhere and it just. They had a perfect catch. Look at that. We can't even make the tackle. Like, they don't even have 200 yards of offense yet. They're just destroying us right now. And he's out for the game. Whoever that was, I, I'm assuming he was a defensive lineman. First down. The problem with NCAA 07 is the momentum meter is jacked up to no win and nobody knows how to fix it. You can't. It is what it is. And you're going to have just crazy, goofy stuff happen all the time. And that should have been an interception. Uh, 09, it's not as bad, but it's still bad. The problem I have with 09 that really worries me is the probation glitch. You can't fix it unless you try to do heavy botting and nobody wants to deal with that because you really can't fix it permanently and it's just not worth bothering with. I think other stuff you can fix with sliders because let's, let's just talk about something real quick. It's on my mind. I've been playing 06 for like 16 years or however long it's been since it's been out. 15 years. I love it to death. It's been my all-time favorite game, but it's just, you know, man, I'm a playbook guy. That's the only downside to 06. When you know the playbook so well, all the plays, formations, you want to see other things you want to fool around with. 07 through 11 gives that to you. The problem is those games come with a lot of baggage. So you kind of have to pick the lesser of two evils in a way. How do you, which one do you go with? Are you willing to, to deal with momentum meter, jump to snap, and it's other nonsensical things that they are in the other games? That's something I have to deal with mentally. Because I know I can probably have a whole lot of fun with those other games if I could just mentally get over the fact of momentum meter is going to cost me games at times. The reason I bring this up, and that's a perfect play, the reason I bring that up is because I, I feel like I see the momentum meter in this particular game. Like ever since that Hail Mary debacle, just nothing has gone right. That's what really confuses me. And... So, I don't know. I just got some stuff to think about with that. I'm liking all the tutorial stuff I'm doing, even in other games, but, geez, every once in a while I want to run an actual, like, air raid play, you know? Or just do some auto motion stuff. Just anything just a little bit different. And I've been able to squeeze as much juice out of a game... I, I, nobody's done been able to squeeze more out of a game than I have with 06. I'm, I'm still trying to come up with stuff. And that's only because there's always so much you can do. The other games just give you more options offensively, defensively. But there's a lot that comes with that game. With those games. Especially 07 and 09. Those are the two that most people try to gravitate towards. Through. So I don't know. I want to go, I want to enjoy the other games. It's just hard for me, and I need to figure out how to enjoy them while still not getting upset over some of the bad stuff about it. It's a mental thing for me. That's all it is. All right, so there's still a chance to win here, maybe. Pick up a first down there. See, so that's the, I'm seeing Whitaker getting a whole lot more touches than... John St. Louis, that needs to change. Maybe that switch will help us. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I waited. I, don't, I, I didn't mean to snap the ball there. Because going back to 07 and 09 or whichever, all those playbooks, man, they just get me excited. 
it's just hard for me to not look past a few things. All right, right hash. Let's go tight end streaks. They're going man, finally. They've been zoning me to death on this play all day. And uh, it should have been an interception. I got, it was a sack. It was coming. Let's go back to it. We're going zone. I got out of, well, at least he got out of bounds, but still. Uh, third and five. Hmm. We're going to slant outs. We're going man. Go to somebody on the left. Get the first. I should have got the first on that one. Okay. Let's do P. Reed. We're going zone again. Three interceptions today. Going cover two. I have to go over to Lane. I got another play here I haven't called yet. Middle choice. They're going man. I want to. They're going man. Let's go. They're doing that. And I was fixing to get sacked. I mean, look how quick the blitz was on this. I mean, just I, I should have. That's my fault. I should have scooted up, I guess. Third and six. Oh, I'm going to go back to that PA rate. I feel like we can gain a few yards out of it. Let's throw out, at least they're going man. Uh, let's do that just in case. Nobody's open. Oh, geez. Fourth and six. Uh, let's do that. There we go. We're going zone. This is the game right here. Going back to cover three. So I went to my tight end. Uh, let's do safety attack. They're going man again. And they're coming down. Jeez, man, if we could just somehow have enough time to throw over the top. Come on, John St. Louis. All right, we're going to kick an extra point. It says we want to go for two. Okay. Ugh. No, let's do the normal. We're going to do a toss. We're going zone, and we're doing dime. All right, we're down three. We're going to do an onside kick. I just feel like... I feel like we need to do an onside kick and just take a chance here. We can get a bounce. Problem is, it went way too far. But, okay. Well, we just got to get lucky here. We're going to have to start calling timeouts. Good stop there. We can go ahead and call a timeout. Uh, I feel like I'm going to do a cover one. I think they're going to run it. It said they was going three wide. Oh, that burns me to no end.
Call one more time out. Third and three. I'm going to take a chance, and we're going to do an all-out blitz. we got to do it at a 4-3, because that's all we have. Dang it. Dang it. Game over. Unless something goofy happens, but just what else can you do about that? Nothing you can't do. Just a bad day, turnovers, that's the Hail Mary, and the entire third quarter killed us from ever winning this thing. And it just it is what it is. So I got some things I got to think about. I just... Oh, gosh. Like, again, I, I, I feel like I'm missing out on some things with, like, 09 in particular. 09, their playbooks are just, if you, are unbelievable. And I think I can have so much fun and can help out a whole lot with a game like that. I just got to get over fumbling. Oh, my God. Again. Oh, my gosh. We fumbled it. Oh, no. All right. Let me think here. Uh, okay. Well. Okay, he fumbled it. Jeez, this has been too much of a roller coaster. All right, they're going zone. Terrible throw. Uh, double tight end outs. They're going man at least. This will go to somebody on the left. The problem is... We are not going to be able to get out of bounds on this one. And they bring both safeties. What are they doing? If he makes a catch here, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Uh, okay, let's go. I'm going to run some clock or going man. Oh, this, the last... Two quarters, two and a half quarters have just been like the biggest roller coaster ride. Oh, ah, dang it. I should have went to the other guy. Let's, oh, I gotta hurry up. Gotta hurry up. They're going man. Come on. Come on. Get to the line. Third and two. Let me see. They're going man. Six points! Huh? Okay. Uh, okay. Let's, we need an extra point. And then we're going to have to high kick it. We're going to high kick it. That way we, we can't let them return it. And that just, we just can't do that. That means they got one play to get like 60 something yards. And that's going to be hard for them to do. I mean, it's possible. And he'll probably fair catch this. Oh, he's not going to fair catch it. They're going to waste some seconds here. Wow! Why did they... Oh, they got one second left. Oh, none of this makes sense. Wow. Okay. Just hope for the best here. All day to throw. Oh, no. Oh my gosh! Uh, 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 uh. I, I don't, I don't know. My head hurts, and I don't know what to think about what's happened in the last hour. I don't know what to make of it. Our best defender just finished it up for us, and somehow, some way, we got a win. I don't know. And I was like practically giving, I was practically giving up in the third and fourth quarter, just saying, "All right, let's just." 
cut our losses and move on to the next game. Somehow, some way, we just kind of made, I don't know. Mm. Now I just got more questions. I got the Gatorade bath. I'm at a loss for work. Well, I don't know. I just got to think about some things. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm going to let them celebrate. That's just a crazy game. I have to go back and watch that video again. I just, I'm just, I have to go back and look at what plays just, I, that fumble made all the difference for us, of course. So look at this. The offense is pretty good. You know, the parachute, we got 500 yards with a D minus team. That's, that tells you all you need to know about the parachute. We threw the ball 50 times today. Of course, we kind of had to towards the... Yeah, that kind of makes sense, but... I threw it 50 times today. Wow. It didn't feel like it. And we ran the ball halfway decent. So, okay. Eight turnovers. I feel like I'm playing 07, 08, 09. <laughs> and then the entire second half, I pretty much... Gave a big rant as to why sometimes I feel like I need to be playing 07 and 09 because you see stuff like this. The third quarter momentum was just a complete mess. I feel like the momentum, they just took it and ran with it. And somehow, someway, we came back and done, I don't know, just whatever, 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 whatever. 30 of 50 for CT, three touchdowns, three picks. Odom's had a great game running the ball. Receiving. I kind of like what I'm seeing here, to be honest. I think ever since we moved John St. Lee over to the left, that helped a little bit. But, I don't know. Okay, I'm tired. My head hurts. I got to think on some stuff. So, the next video will be a tutorial video. I'm guessing that'll probably be Monday. I'm not going to be... I'm going to the titans Bengals game tomorrow. I'm excited about that. I'm a big Bengals fan. We're terrible, I know, but I don't care. Uh... You got to stick with my team. So it'll be Monday before the next game comes up. So the next game is against 1-3 and three Louisville. For whatever reason, they're playing terrible football. They were one of the ranked teams we scheduled. And nothing you can do about what they do after you schedule them. It's up to them to actually to perform. So that's two videos from now. That'll probably be next Wednesday, if I had to guess, after the election. We'll take on the Cardinals. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.